I'm one of those folks that uh, has a propensity at times to uh, to deal with long emails. I'm the CEO of Giant RV. We have four locations in Southern California, big RV dealer. And uh, and so there's when, when we're dealing with data, particularly with uh, our VP, there's times when there's just a lot of information. And so trying to cull it down to five sentences is always my is always my difficulty. And even in the homework assignment, I chopped this thing in half of what I was thinking to do. But is that more of a goal than a fixed idea? Great question. I'll jump in and then, Professor, I know you got thoughts too. If, right, and it's it's not everybody deals with this, but if you are completely restricted, there is it's not physically possible on any universe for you on any planet, I guess I should say, in any universe, for you to actually get them on the phone or get them virtually to talk it out, right? If that's an impossibility, make an attachment. And then the nice thing is right now you got this attachment that you can just drop into any email that you write for the foreseeable future. But that that would that would be the difference. And ha happy to speak, happy to talk to you and walk you through it. It wouldn't be ridiculous for us to speak for your, uh, for your, what's the word I'm looking for? Just, just for your reference, attached is everything that you need to know, right? Uh, and you can drop it in. Like and that. one of the problems that we're all dealing with on this is, uh, again, certain realities. Decision fatigue. As a human being, you only got so many decisions you're capable of a given day. There's only so many thoughts you could process. You only got so much gas in a tank. That's unavoidable. Now, if you send them a long email and they don't get it at the one moment in the day that they're capable of reading that long email, then you have wasted your time. And that sweet spot in the day ain't a big sweet spot. You know, for me, there's probably, depending upon how I'm managing my brain, it's a 90 minute sweet spot. Sometime that's going to occur about 90 minutes after I've gotten up. Um, the, you know, there's some neuroscience here. There's just no way around that. I mean, we're working really hard. We work really hard with all of our assistants on our team. I can only click so many clicks in a given day. If she sends me some really important information and it's not all underneath my calendar click, the very next click I got is a decision that's taking away from other things. I mean, we massively within our company, we are protecting our decision making ability as much as possible to put it on the decisions that move the ball forward. And I'm starting to run out of gas. Michael, you send me an email that cures my cancer if I had it. And it comes to me after two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to die because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to read it. So you just, you, 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 all of this design is factored to get information into people's brains so that they can act on it so that you are different than anybody else on earth and they're drawn to you over and over and over because you are the elf provider. You are easy, lucrative, and fun. And they're gonna to continue to come back to you over and over and over again. And this is all about maximizing your effectiveness with the people you serve. And you can't do that with long emails. You just can't. You, and, and you look like everybody else. So Brandon's structure was good, an attachment, five senses in the email the strategic advantage you guys are going to find over and over again which i have found i can answer a no oriented question no matter how tired i am no matter how much i've been running on empty i have found that over and over again which is why i told you guys i think you guys have all heard the story about me sending robert herjavic two oriented questions at five o'clock in the afternoon. Sent him two oriented questions at 5.03, had a response at 5.04. Because I know from personal experience, I can trigger an answer in anybody's brain with a no-oriented question, 
no matter how tired they are. I don't know why that works. I just know it does. That's all I need to know. But decision fatigue is an issue for every human being on a planet.